had customers, the barbers were all on duty. It was four of us working, cutting hair, having a normal day, and um, all of a sudden we heard shots. That's when everyone went on the ground and tried to leave the barber shop. And we literally had to crawl to the back of the barber shop. We were trying to get out of there because it, the sound, it, the shots just wouldn't stop coming. Three people were shot, including a child, but 47-year-old Tyrone Staley did not make it. The shop owner said that they were waiting for the ambulance, but there was nothing anyone could do. So we watched our barber die. We watched a good man die. This man was here every day, faithfully, cutting hair. That's all he did. He was a family man. Tyrone's family, friends, neighbors, and government officials crowded 2nd Avenue tonight to show their support. He was remembered as someone who was not just a close friend to many, but also the community's barber. Carolyn Temple has been getting her hair cut along with her 11-year-old grandson for seven years and had great memories with Staley. But now she worries about a place that she always saw as a safe haven. He's laughing, cracking jokes, be able to come here for like a day. Next thing you know, we heard about this, now we can't do anything really. It's sad because I really have to think now. I have a young black male grandson, and I don't want him to be exposed like these other little kids that was in there. No arrests have been made, but community members are hoping for the violence to stop by providing more programs for youth. Community members getting involved, getting engaged, giving these young people an opportunity to recognize that they have greatness within them and that a bullet could not only ruin the life of somebody they're shooting, but it ruin their lives as well. Residents are being urged to connect with community resources, especially as police look to increase patrols in the area. Reverend Graham says that his friend's life will not be in vain. There's bullet holes everywhere in that barbershop. So God left us here for a reason. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to stay here and just be a light that shines in a dark place. Reporting in Albany, Tamara Starr, News 10 ABC.